Hello and welcome to the Bane Picks video for Florida at Florida State on this Black Friday. I am your host, Matthew Amato, for lineups.com. Joined here by Jacob Wayne. Really, at this point, you should be doing the intros, Jacob, because you're kind of our head college football brain. But without further ado, nine and a half point spread in favor of the whole the home Florida State Seminoles. I'm just gonna I, I'm actually gonna start it off this time, Jacob. I've been kicking it off to you a lot on these videos. Florida State minus nine and a half all day. This Florida team stinks. Anthony Richardson, I'm taking the victory lap right now. He is not a good quarterback. He had one good game against Utah, and I, I said, hold the presses, everybody. I don't think this guy's even draftable, let alone a first-round top five pick like I've seen in quite a few mocks. And I feel very validated right now. And this is no personal attack on the man. He seems like a great kid, but I am not confident in Florida being able to put up any points in this game. They just... They're coming off a pretty bad vic or a pretty bad loss. This seems like a bounce back spot. It's a rivalry game. There's a lot to be motivated for, but I feel like all of that applies to Florida State in this case as well. And the fact that this has moved down from that key number of ten to nine and a half, I very very much like it. I think the final score will be around thirty to seventeen. So I'm going to take Florida State. There wasn't much statistical analysis in that, and we could go into all the mismatches here. But truly, I think this game is going to come down to. How motivated is each team? Because if they're both equally motivated, Florida State's just got the better roster. And then can Anthony Richardson all of a sudden show up or, or something like that? And no. So, Jacob? Yeah, I, I tend to agree with you. Um, this has been a really resurgent season for this Florida State program. Um, I actually saw that they flipped a quarterback prospect, Brock Glenn, from Ohio State earlier this week, which huge. Um, yeah, really impressive for them. Um yeah, and I think this is definitely a program on the come up, whereas Florida's had a very up and down season in their first year with Billy Napier. Uh, their biggest weakness uh, happens to go right up against Florida State's biggest strength. Uh, Florida's run defense has really been terrible all season. Uh, I can give you some specific numbers there, but bottom line is that they haven't really been able to defend anybody's rushing attack, and Florida State has a fantastic one, headlined by quarterback Jordan Travis and running back Trey Benson. I think both will have great games here. Uh, this is at home, and I think... Florida State's going to be really, really fired up for the opportunity to beat Florida in Tallahassee. Um, the last the last time they came down there, uh, Florida did pull off the upset, if I remember correctly. Um, so I think Florida State will be highly motivated for this game. I think it's going to be a great home atmosphere. And I definitely agree with you. I just don't trust uh, if Florida State gets a lead in this game and they need to rely on Anthony Richardson to pull them back into it. I just don't trust his arm at this point. I think he's too inconsistent. Um I think they will be able to run the ball somewhat, but I just think that Florida State's defense has better pieces, and I would keep an eye out for Jared Verse. Uh, I believe he's playing. I haven't seen anything suggesting he's not, but he's going to be one of my favorite one of my favorite players for the upcoming draft at defensive end. I think he could make a big impact in this game, but overall, I just think at home, Florida State's definitely the side. Um, I would be interested in taking their team total over, though. Um, I'm not sure if you have that up in front of you, but I think that might be ultimately a better way to go than even playing the spread, honestly. I think that's fair, and they don't have it up yet, but if I go to the same game parlay section for DraftKings, I could tell you what it's going to be once it's, you're allowed to single bet, and that would be over, looks like, 34 points. Yeah, I, I think that might be, and that's honestly even a touch low, because they've been over that total in most games this season, um, especially lately. I, I, I think that might be the better way to go, uh, but... I'll say that for now, I'll just play this spread with you, uh, but I might come back in later and comment below if I'm actually going to make a play on the team total here. Yeah, so the only way to really bet it right now, which it will be available on Friday, is you have to parlay it. So if you did Florida State over, oh, I clicked 35.5 and a half in the money line, it would be plus 115. So obviously the key number at 35, so I probably want to get at 34.5. and a half. Yeah. Um, and I tend to agree. I think that is a, a pretty good number. I'm just actually pretty confident in Florida's offense and being terrible in this matchup. Like, I, like, it, it's exactly what you said. I think Florida State controls this throughout. And if that's the case, I think that actually hurts Florida's output even more because they'll start trying to pass the ball, and that's going to be no bueno for Anthony Richardson and the Florida team. So maybe I come in a little bit later. I'm not going to do it right now because I want to look into it with another same-game parlay with the over for Florida State, under for Florida, like I've done a few times where I feel like you can get pretty solid odds if you you feel like you have a really good uh, view on how the game is going to go. But all in all, I, I also want to say, like, this is a rivalry game, so I, I doubt that either team needs to be motivated at all. But if Florida State wins this, I think, you know, they're in line for a pretty 
solid bowl game, which, again, they're on the come-up. They just flipped a four-star quarterback. Like, putting yourself in a pretty good bowl game and winning that bowl game, I think, just furthers the momentum of this program. I think everyone's bought in at this point. So there's just so much I like about Florida State right now, and I don't think the vibes are necessarily great in the Florida locker room. They had a couple they – they had a decent run there, but losing the Vanderbilt is going to kill any confidence you had in yourself, uh, I think. Yeah. And this Seminoles offense has just been starting games so fast recently. Um, they're up 14-3 in the first quarter on Miami, 14-0 uh, on Syracuse. Like, I could definitely see them getting two touchdowns in the first quarter and really putting Florida in a position where they can't just run the ball like we talked about. So I definitely think that's something to watch here as well. All right, so we're on the spread at minus 9.5, and, and we're going to be looking at the team totals later in the week. We will try and come back and comment down below if we find something we like. If there is no comment, that means we didn't. So let's go to wrap it up for this one. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you like this video, drop a like. If you did not, you dislike. Comment down below your favorite bets from this game. Hit the subscribe button to see more content like this. Click the bell to get notified when our videos go up. And check out lineups.com for more great Bane analysis and Rin form from Jacob. But if you want to see more videos from us, we have it all over the channel with more Friday games, Saturday slate, and NFL Sunday slate. We will see you for the next one very soon.